So hi, Microbe Hunter here again. And in this video, I'm gonna do two things. Uh, first of all, I wanna show you what's in this little box. It's a micrometer slide. Uh, it's used to make measurements under the microscope. And then in the second part of this video, I'm going to show you all the how to make so-called scale bars. Now I just see that my camera is tilting over a little bit. Okay, I think here we go again. Okay, so a micrometer slide allows you to make measurements uh, under the microscope. Um, and uh, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna first unpack it and I'm gonna show you what's inside. Well, that's basically how it arrived. It was uh, delivered in a small plastic box. There is a lot of foam padding around it for protection. The box is, as a matter of fact, much thicker uh, than necessary, much larger than necessary, but that's, that's okay. Um, now let's have a closer look um, at what I got here. And when I was unwrapping it, uh, I basically then was able to uncover and I was able to see that there is actually not only one engraving on there, but there are four of them for different purposes. So let's have a closer look uh, here. Okay, here we have uh, four different calibration engravings. The first one here is 0 0.01 millimeter, 0 0.01, 0, a dot of 0 0.15 and a dot of 0 0.07 millimeters. Now, I have to admit, I do not quite know what uh, they are used for. So if you have uh, any idea, please uh, write a comment. I'm talking about the dots now. I'll be using uh, the engravings um, on the very left. Uh, which has a dimension of 0 0.1 millimeters. So I'll put the slide under my stereo microscope and let's have a look at it a little bit closer here. This is now using 40 times magnification under my stereo microscope. And uh, yeah, here, that's the next larger one, a hundredth of a millimeter. And it's already quite small here. And uh, yeah, I'm zooming in a little bit more and I have to refocus now. You can barely see the, the lines right now. So, um, and uh, then I'm going, I'm zooming out again a little bit and now let's have a look um, at the two dots uh, of a 0 0.15 millimeter. There are basically some crosshairs, so it's easier for you to find the dot. But uh, yeah, as I mentioned, please uh, mention in the comments if you know what they're used for, um, yeah, what they're actually used for, um, for calibrating. So yeah, what we're gonna do now is, is uh, I'm going to now uh, go under my, um, compound uh, microscope and I'm going to take a picture of these now um, and let's have a closer look uh, under my compound microscope. So this is uh, in the lower uh, right corner you see the objective that I was always using so that's a four times objective, um, yeah, ten times objective, it's pretty self-explanatory and uh, the lines are quite uh, quite thin so that's pretty good uh, but they're not infinitely thin so later I'm going to show you how you can actually uh, measure out the distance even though the lines themselves have a thickness uh, this here we already start to see a little bit of dust unfortunately and this one is the last one is quite interesting we can already see a little bit at the edges a little bit of few diffraction patterns okay I'm now gonna show you two ways on how you can make uh, scale bars uh, under the microscope. The first uh, version, the first method uses Photoshop. I know that not everyone has it. I'm using Photoshop Elements. You can also use the free program GIMP if you want to, but I think uh, maybe for the majority of you, it might be easier to simply use PowerPoint to do that. So I'm also gonna show you how to, yeah, how to actually transfer the measurements from a micrometer slide on, over to, to PowerPoint. Well, I'm now in Photoshop. Um, I imported uh, the picture and I'm zooming in a little bit right now. So I'm not making it uh, larger, uh, but I'm just zooming in. So I'm not changing the pixels, of course. Now we see also some chromatic aberration, the purple uh, edge. And I'm using a, uh, yeah, I'm selecting now. Look, I'm, I'm always taking the left edge of the line and I'm simply drawing a frame here to select it. And then I'm coloring the frame in simply using yeah, a, a paintbrush. That's, that's pretty much it, okay? Um, and in, um, in Photoshop, this is uh, on a separate layer, so I'm copying it and I'm pasting it now um, into the micrograph of the fly leg that I'm gonna be using here. Um, and uh, it's just important that both of these pictures, of course, have the same resolution and the same size and everything. And then uh, what I have to do at the very end um, um, is I'm simply going to type in now the dimensions. So that's a 0 0.1 millimeter from line to line. I'm making it a little bit larger. Um, and because everything here is is on a separate layer at, at the end. The only thing that I have to do is I have to flatten the image and I have to export it and, and save it. Uh, and that's, uh, we're finished. Yeah, so I'm just gonna show you right now. You have to go up into the menu. Um, and then here in the layer, you have to flatten the image and this kind of combines all of the layers um, into a final image. So, and that's, we're finished. I'm gonna show you now the, uh, the PowerPoint method.
Okay, I'm now in PowerPoint and I'm first opening the micrograph. I can close this, I don't need that. And on top of it, I'm going to drag and drop uh, the a picture of the micrometer slide. So I'm also opening it at the same time. Of course, it covers it up. Um, again, gonna clo close this here. You can see it by moving the top image uh, in the background we see the fly leg. Um, you do not want to change uh, any uh, image sizes here but uh, you click on crop and you simply uh, crop away um, yeah, and make it as small as, as necessary. Um, this of course uh, makes it possible for me to again see the background image yeah, and uh, this does not change, of course, the size of the distance on, of the lines, and that's really important. Yeah, so now I have uh, basically everything uh, in scale, um, and uh, I'm going to do now the following. I'm going to click Format Picture, and I want to change the transparency around. Uh, you don't have to do that, but it uh, makes it easier, as a matter of fact, uh, to simply to superimpose uh, the, the scale, uh, and uh, you can move it around and you can make direct measurements this way um, and I think that's uh, kind of convenient but what I want to do is I want to make a scale bar um, and for making a scale bar um, I'm first again gonna zoom in a little bit because otherwise it's uh, too small um, and then I'm going to uh, draw um, again a little box uh, just like I've done before in, in, in Photoshop click shape uh, in this case I'm not selecting it but I'm simply drawing a box and in this case I'm now using the, the right edge uh, of uh, of the line each okay um, and that is now 0 0.1 millimeters again okay so now from right edge to right edge um, of the of the line yeah, I'm just going to change the color again a little bit simply to make uh, make it e more easily visible so I have a black uh, scale bar now um, which I can now, uh, of course, uh, also move around. So I'm going to delete uh, this here and here the scale bar. I'm going to move uh, to a place where I can see it very nicely and I'm going to add again a label to it. And that's pretty much it, people. Um, the next thing that I can do now is I can either take a screenshot um, of the whole thing or I can export it as a PDF, not as a PDF, as a, as a JPEG or whatever file format you want to use. You know, and that's pretty much it. So it's, it's, you see it's quite easy. Yeah, okay, so that's it, folks. Uh, I hope uh, it was uh, informative for you again. I uh, wish you all the best. Happy microbe hunting as always. Please do check out my other YouTube channel as well. I do have a second microscopy related YouTube channel, actually the main channel, where I put a lot of things under the microscope. Happy microbe hunting and see you around next time. Bye-bye.